Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back or welcome to our channel. Welcome friends, family, perfect strangers. I know that you are here for what I share, not for what I wear. I am taping these videos back to back to try to get them all taped and put up for you all so that that way y'all can enjoy videos into the new year. By the way, you might be seeing this one on New Year's Eve, which would be what, December the 31st? I think, I'm not sure. If it's already passed, Happy New Year's. If it's tonight, Happy New Year's. <laughs> Either way, be safe if you're traveling to and from, safe travels back and forth or to and from or there and back, whatever you wanna say. Also, please, if you're staying at home, stay safe. Be uh, vigilant of stray bullets flying in the air for people that shoot the guns in the air, which scares the living daylights out of me because they do that a lot here where I live. Also be careful with the fireworks. And remember during this time with the popping of the fireworks, this is when the majority of the dogs get lost during January the 1st, July 4th, because the noise really, really scares them, frightens them. They end up running because they have a runner, you know, they have this thing where it's flight or fight mentality. So they run, they get out of their backyards, even if it's fenced, they end up lost. So take care of your own pets. And if you see stray dogs running around in the next couple of days after New Year's, try to help them. Try to collect them up before they end up getting hurt. They probably never been even been out on the streets. So they don't know about cars and all of that stuff. Scoop them up. See if you can help by taking them to the local vet or shelter to see if they have a microchip or maybe their little collar has their personal information so that you can reunite them. Reunited and it feels so good. Woo! Reunited. Okay, so that you can reunite them with their owners because, I mean, it's very it's a very sad situation. I try to do my, my part every year, so... I'm asking you all if you can do your part as well. And thank you so much in advance for me. So with that being said, Happy New Year's. Welcome to 2023. In 2023, we're going to be making a few adjustments here to the channel, but we'll talk about that as we get into the new year. Now, this is a Dollar Tree haul, but I do want to know, are you willing to help me to oblige me to share with you my little HSN buys? Because I'm going to be honest with you, I don't have a lot of online buys coming right now because I just didn't need anything once we got closer to Christmas. So I just have this one item and then I have another HSN um, order that I haven't shared yet. I'll probably share it in another video. But these are just three exact pants from Diane Gilman. They are jogger pants, okay? I'm so upset because they had the matching jacket to go with this, but since I saw it once it turned into like a clearance item, my big size was already gone. So I got these in, I got two of them in 1X and I got one of them in 2X in case the 1X was too small. At least I would have one that fits me. Um, because I wasn't sure on the joggers what size I wear. Because in the Diane Gilman, I can usually I can get away with just the large or extra large. But I went ahead and went with the, or not the extra large. I usually can do the extra large or the 1X in the Diane Gilman. But I've never tried the joggers. So I went ahead and picked up the 2X because these were clearance, clearance, clearance. And they were selling out super fast. Like I think... One, there was like seven left. Another one, there was nine left. And the other one, there was like 14 left. So for whatever reason, if these do not fit me, there's probably not a way to exchange them. But let me show you. I'll open the... Let me open the 1X because that's the size that I'm thinking is going to fit me. They're so stinking cute. And they had the matching jacket. And I'm so upset that I missed out on it. But look at these joggers. Are they not the coolest ever they have all these little sequins all over the front of them. Oh yeah. I should have just stuck with the XL. I mean the 1X, the 2X is gonna be too big. But you know what, it's got the drawstring so maybe I can just tighten them. But it, the reason why it sold me on them is they have pockets. And I love joggers with pockets. And I also love for my joggers to have like a tapered 
See, it's got like the ribbing, like a tapered leg to them. Love them. And you guys know that now I have to wear tennis shoes. No matter even if it's like a like a social event where I have to wear like a fancy dress, I have to wear tennis shoes now because anytime I wear cute sandals or anything like that, I get misproportioned on my nerve damage on my right foot and leg all the way up to my knee at this point. And so I have to stay in tennis shoes. So I thought, well, if there's like a cute event that I need to go to, I can dress it up with the jogger pants, a really nice glittery top, and then my little, my little tennis shoes. And I got, ah, I need to show you. I need to show you what I picked up from Kohl's because at Kohl's I picked up new tennis shoes. Anyway, I picked it up in the, um, the 2X I picked up in navy. Black is the 1X and then I also picked it up in gray. It's like a beautiful heather gray. So yeah, I'm going to go back in there and see if I can get the navy and the extra large, but I'm sure it's probably sold out by now. So there's that. If you're interested, it's the Diane Gilman um, line. Um, again, these particular ones might be sold out, but I love Diane Gilman's stuff off of HSN. She has some really good quality stuff, so check out her stuff on HSN. Now let's get started with the Dollar Tree. Um, I picked up two of these little steak lights. Um, they were 50 cents, and this is all they had, was one Christmas tree and one little elf. And I'm gonna tell you all something. This one right here, the, the little thing is pulled out of it right here, the thing that blocks the batteries or whatever. And when I got home, the whole bag that it was sitting in was lit up super bright. This thing was super bright. So I wish they would have had more. I didn't buy them before Christmas, but I did pick up the little Christmas tree and the little elf. The tree still has this in it. So let's try it, shall we? Let me pull it out. Oh, it doesn't work. Maybe that's why it was still sitting there. Yeah. This one doesn't work. Actually, it look, it looks like it was damaged and they just put it up for sale. I don't know if I can open it up completely without damaging it. I'm scared to pull the top off, but, um, well, good thing is it was only 50 cents. Yeah, that doesn't look, I'm covering it completely and that doesn't work at all. Or maybe it hasn't had time to sit in the light. Maybe we need to give it time. Or maybe it's just broke. Maybe it's just a bummer. Let me leave it for a little bit with the light and see if maybe it works once we're done taping, I don't know. If not, this one was this one works more amazing, and that one the little tab was already out of it. But anyway, there's that. Now, I had never seen anybody haul these when I have found them, <laughs> and then my cousin was like, "Oh, I found new candles," and I was like, "Could it be that she found the same exact ones I did?" And sure enough, she goes, "I absolutely just love the container on them, but..." Um, there was three of them and I only picked up two of them because I didn't like the third scent. And I don't even remember which one it was she showed first. But I found these candles that were new to me. I do not burn can oh, I do not burn candles. I put them in a warmer and I let the wax melt, and that's how we do the smell goodness of it all. But what I liked about these was the container is so unique. I was thinking that once I get the wax melted down enough. I'm going to pour the wax out and put them like I'll put it in a empty eggshell container of the Scentsy and um, clean out the jars and keep these in my craft room, my office actually. So this first one is called French Toast. French Toast Pumpkin Butter. These are three ounces each. What is that thing in the middle? What is that thing in the middle? Do you see it? French, oh, French toast and pumpkin butter. It's a little amper stamp. Ooh. 
It has a very long wick in there so that I know it needs to be snipped though because that's not good. And even though my sniffer's not all that, it's coming back slowly. I would say I probably have like maybe 10%. I don't know. I can't even tell you to be honest with you. I still can't taste anything though. This one smelled really good. Then there's this one that is... Harvest Berry in this like purple color. So this is kind of like a amberish orange color. This is like a purple grape jelly color. And this one is Harvest Berry. See at first whiff, when you first open it and put it, it's no bueno. But when you let it air a little bit, it's actually pretty good. Harvest Berry. Who are they by? Ooh, that writing's way too small for me. Is it a Greenbrier? Are y'all able to see if it says Greenbrier? Let me take a picture. Relax. Just want to take some pictures. Let me take a picture of it and zoom in and see if it's a Greenbrier product or not. Let's see, it says candle, then it says USA Greenbrier International. So guess what? It's a Greenbrier product, so it's not a name brand product. So hopefully if it's something that you like and you're interested in, you will find them at your Dollar Tree. There are the two, and then the last scent is... Hell, I don't know what that says. Something pick. Let me take a picture. <laughs> Hold on. I'm so sorry, you guys. You all are so patient with me. I love each and every one of you for being so patient with me for not wearing my glasses. Okay, well, I wouldn't have known that that's what that says. This is Bartlett Pear Cider. And this is this like really beautiful, like yellow, lemony colored glass. The lids on these are great. It's wide mouth. It's not wide, wide mouth as wide as mine, but it's pretty wide instead of like a smaller one. Oh, I like her. I don't know what it is because again, my nose is off, but I liked all three scents and I went ahead and picked them up. I'm going to put them in the warmer. I'm going to let them do their thing for like a week. And then once the scent's no longer available, I don't even think they'll last a week, to be honest with you. There's probably enough, not enough oil or fragrance in here for them to last more than a couple of days. Then I will throw the wax out and I will recycle the jars because they are so stinking cute. Next up, I picked up a few books for the newest addition to the family, my grandson. And unfortunately, I didn't look at this, but some little kid went and pushed the eyeballs in. Do you see? They're like flat. So I'm going to see if I can replace this one. I'm just going to donate this one and I'll buy him another one um, because I want them to be perfect because since it's a gift, you know what I mean? It needs to be in perfect condition and I should have checked it better. That's my fault. That's not Dollar Tree's fault. But I picked up this one that's colors and I want you to know when you open this first page, it's a very thick piece. Do you see it? So that these are glued in well and the kids can't get into them. And then it just goes with like the little board books like that. So there's the colors. The colors of the rainbow are very special too. Then there's counting. Then there is first words. Why did we use the monkeys twice? Yuck. And then shapes. Or maybe it's just an issue with the googly eyes. These are all from Greenbrier. Maybe because those are kind of punched in too from shipping, I guess, or from them stacking upon each other. Oh, yeah. Look. They stick out further than the book. So when they're pressed together in shipping, they get damaged. So that could have been damaged just from the weight of the other books. Okay. That makes sense. Because I was going to tell you, I did plunder to go to the ones in the back. 
So probably due to the weight is what it is. So anyway, picked up those. Then I saw these and they look new to me. These are not from Greenbrier. These are from Vision Street, published by Vision Street Publishing out of Weston, Weston, Florida. This is the Take Care of Yourself and Enjoy collection. And there is three in this collection. And the first one is Taking Care of Yourself, then Am I Sick, and then Stay Clean. It's just three in this set. I'll show you right here in the back. There's the three. And I just really liked like the illustrations in it and I thought it's so stinking cute. And this might be like a little book for him when he's older, but the thing is I found them now and I thought for $1.25 that's really not a bad buy and it's in like an interactive as well. So again, I was lucky enough to find the whole collection there so I picked them up for him. Then for my youngest daughter, Sunflower, I picked up her favorite character from Dr. Seuss is Horton, and she loves the movie Horton Hears a Who. So I picked her up this coloring book. Yes, my daughter's 27 years old, but, um, or 20, 26 or 27. My youngest, 26 or 27. I'm getting too old, I don't even remember. But um, she loves to color just like as a stress relief, and Wildfire definitely loves coloring, but she usually colors um, like the more intense color pages. I don't even know how to explain it, but next I needed a new book. I use these, um, I was going to say Cosmopolitan book. <laughs> when I was little, that's what I would call them. I need one of those <laughs> Cosmopolitan notebooks. And my mom would say, you mean a composition book? And I would go, yes, one of those. Okay. It's a new composition book. I love the fact that it said radiate pos positivity and what I use these for, I don't write notes in them. I don't uh, do journaling in them or anything. What I do is I literally um, do my budget every month. So like here I'll put January 2023 and then I put house amount, car insurance. I list all of that. And then as it gets paid, I mark it off. And then on the back pages, I do my bank account information. I have two bank accounts. So like whatever bank account I'm working with. So for instance, I'll put, let's say bank of America here and then I'll put my balance. And then I start like deducting everything that I've paid out of my bank of America account. Then on this one, I'll do like, um, capital one and then I'll put my capital one balance. And then I start deducting whatever I pay out of my capital one account. So that's what I use these for. And let me show you. This one I actually started, let me take out all these papers. This one I actually started two years ago. And honestly, if I am on the phone with somebody, let's say I call about something that's important with the house or the house insurance or something like that, I will also write notes about it. So like, that's how I do it, literally. And I'm almost done with this one. And I literally bought this, I think I bought this one two years ago. Um, and I already had bought a replacement for this one, which is this one here. As you guys know, I love poopy dogs. I had already gotten the replacement one and was going to start my 2023 year in this one. But, oh look, I lost one of my papers. But when I saw this one, I don't know why something told me since I'm doing finances and money, maybe radiate positivity to bring maybe better clarity on my bills, better clarity on the spending. Um, you know, just trying to be more mindful of where the money's going and stuff. So I decided to go with this one and I will retire my poopy dog for another year or for some other project. A lot of explanation for that, right? I apologize. <laughs> Next up, they had some new frames, new to me anyway. This first one is kind of like cork. It's like a faux cork. This one's a four by six. Then I picked up this one that almost looks like little, it looks like cork, but then it also looks like it could be like little river rocks, really cute. It's a five by seven. I'm trying to bring them up close to you so that you can actually see the frame itself. 
versus um, the glare. See what I mean? Could be cork or it could be little river rocks. And this could be cork or you know what else it could be? Now looking at it even more so out of the store, it almost looks like um, Terrasso a little bit. I don't know, but I thought those were really cute. And then this one has like a marble mosaic look to it. It's not really. It's just a paper that was printed and put on the frame itself. But do you see it? It's like a marbled mosaic look. And this one's a five by seven as well. And it's got the beautiful like gray undertones. And the fact that they put a picture of um, a picture of driftwood. Thank you. I heard you. I heard you, Susan. Driftwood. I did think that this lent itself to like a very beachy theme. Like maybe you have your bathroom decorated in beach theme and then maybe take a picture at the beach and put it in there and have it on your vanity in your bathroom. That was my thought anyway. So picked up those three. My youngest daughter, her and her husband and her kids absolutely love the beach. So when I saw that, that's what I thought of. Last thing I picked up was from the Crafter Square department. I picked up more of the chunky glitter. It's a big girl banger, banger. Mm, it's a big girl banger, banger. I don't know why I thought chunky, chunky, chunky women with chunky glitter, but I like that song. It's a big girl banger. <laughs> I guess because I'm a big girl, so I like that song. Um, anyway, I picked up the chunky glitter. They're calling this jumbo glitter. There, that's a better word, jumbo glitter. I picked it up in the silver and gold, silver and gold. And then this like maroonish red and this blue. These are great for shakers. They're great for crafts. They're great for card making. They're great for friend mail. If you want to like surprise confetti bomb them, but like jumbo so that they don't get too angry at you. Um, I like to send out glitter in my birthday cards as a surprise. Um, but that is it for this Dollar Tree haul, you all. And of course my HSN. I'm so excited. I'm going to go try these on as soon as I get off air. Off air. <laughs> After I stop recording, I'm going to go try those on. Baby, baby, if you've ever wondered, wondered whatever became of me. I'm living on the air in Cincinnati. Cincinnati WKRP. This is the reason why I can't remember what I ate for lunch yesterday, but I can remember the words to WKRP in Cincinnati uh, from the 70s. Correct. It's that's what takes up the space in my brain. Mm -hmm. Or the love boat soon will be making another run. The love boat. How did I lose the words again? I completely lost the words because all of a sudden I hear in my head, it's a big girl banger. <laughs> okay, anyway, this is the things that stay in my brain and this is the reason why I can't remember what I ate for lunch yesterday because I have sitcom, um, I have old songs from the 70s, you know, in the in the brain. But anyway, I am going to go ahead and close. I love each and every one of you. Again, I hope you stay safe. Welcome to the new year. If you're seeing this after New Year's or before New Year's, Happy New Year's, Happy New Year's, Happy 2023. Be safe. Be vigilant. Be kind because it costs zero dollars to be kind. Again, I love each and every one of you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you all so very much for all the love and support that you show me and our channel. I appreciate it immensely and I appreciate each and every one of you immensely. Words are not enough to tell you thank you. But I hope that you do take my thank you and realize that or understand that I truly, truly mean it. I do. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close. Could you, would you do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up because it lets me and YouTube know that you like these kinds of videos. Also, if you're not already a family member to the channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe button down below to become a part of the family. Also, make sure that you read the comments, interact with each other in the comment section. That's how we get to know each other better. That's how we become better friends and family members. 
We need to be there for one another. You never know what somebody's going, what somebody has going on in their life. So sometimes just kind words to them helps a lot. So keep that in mind. And for now, goodbye from Texas.